Hi, today I want to show you how to run MM Audio locally on your machine. MM Audio is a AI application can generate audio effect based on your video. Unfortunately, this website only allow you to have a free trial per day. So as I have shown you on my previous video, I could only run once. If it's not good, then I have to wait for another day. Today I want to show you how to use it locally. First of all, you have to install Pinocchio. And I don't want to go to the details of Pinocchio because uh, there are plenty of uh, YouTube videos showing that. And I have already installed Pinocchio is a kind of browser where you can browse through different AI app like an app store. You can install it by just one click. I've got it already installed. Here is my Pinocchio. And I normally go to a Discover page. And you can see there are two tabs. Verify scripts and community scripts. These are not verified. And I usually only use the verify scripts. If you scroll down here, you should be able to find MM Audio here. If you can't find it, just type in MM Audio and you will see it. Okay, I've got it already installed. So if I go to my home page here, and you can see I've got some apps here. Here is my MM Audio. And just by clicking on it, saying starting, it will take a while. Okay, now MM Audio is up. And you can use the browser to go to the website as well. Here is the URL, but I'm using the Pinocchio user interface. And it just looks like the online one. Here's the negative prompt and the steps. I leave everything in default value. Let me try with the same video clip and then I can compare the online version with my local version. So let's play the audio first. So this was done online and it was so good that my first attempt already perfect. Now I've got a prompt already prepared. I'm not too sure whether this prompt is exactly the same one as the last one, but just try it. Uh, because I can try as many times as I want, so I don't worry that much. So just click on Submit. I'm using the RTX uh, 4070. It takes a while to generate. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I can go to the terminal and see the progress here. Okay, it's done. Let me play it. I will say that's amazing. You can hear the running steps. Someone is shouting and the explosion is sync with the video. Let me run this again. Okay, I like it. Especially I can run as many times as I want. I can get the best out of it. So let me try another video. Just close this one and drag and drop the next one here. This one was generated with uh, image to video with the model Kling 2.1. The video is quite nice, but I just don't like the audio. Let me play this for you. I just don't know why it's adding someone's talking. Okay, now let me put something in the prompt. This is my prompt. I just want to put some ambient sound. So birds tweeting and a rusty bicycle and see how it goes. Run it. So it took about one minute. Let's have a look. Uh, 
It's nothing special. It's not too bad. I'm sure it's better than this one. <laughs> okay. Let me try another video. Close this one. And okay, let's play the original sound from Kling AI 2.1. This one is not too bad, but I, I still don't like there's someone talking really loud. So let's try with my own prompt. Now I'm going to do something with the fans shouting and claps. And see, I, I'm trying to get some camera clicks in the background. So let's see how it goes. Okay, it took about one minute. And let me play this. I love this. I really love this. It's uh, singing the uh, applause with the waving. Let's watch this again. Uh, compared to the original audio. Unfortunately, somehow it doesn't get the camera clicks of the photographer. But anyway, uh, you can play around with the prompt and generate as many times as you want compared to the online website only one trial per day. So I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Watch, or you can subscribe and we'll never miss a future video.